Hey guys, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Today I want to talk about my deadly assault rifle build. Obviously, this involves an assault rifle. This is a gun that I've had for most of the game, and it has really got me through some powerful stuff. Look at it right over here. This is an M251S Ajax legendary gun. I believe I bought it from one of the gun shop vendors in the world as a legendary item is one of them that they sell and it comes along at around like 400 DPS and I've upgraded it and made it so that it's about like 838 though it does change every now and again for some reason but you can see the biggest kicker about this gun is the fact that it has a really high crit chance a base crit chance of 50% and a crit damage chance of 125% as well as a headshot damage multiplier by 3.5 the 10% poison chance is also nice but usually people are dead long before long before they even die of poison now if you look at what I have equipped here for the attachments I have a Haikume an epic kind of scope here it looks really cool I actually really like the Haikume the scopes here they look like this it has the little red kind of like square that's like rotated almost like diamond shape this is one of my favorite ones in the game it just works for me perfectly every single time I use it in terms of the mods, the first mod that I have here is an epic one called Penetrator, which increases my critical chance by 5%, which is actually increased by a lot more if you actually look at the gun here. If you hover over the gun, I don't understand how this works at all. It's almost like it just copies your your gun's base crit chance and then changes the mod to it, because if you look over there at the bottom, it says increases crit chance by 50.21%, increases crit chance by 50.21%, where both of these are just increased crit chance by 5%, so... It's a little weird. I don't really understand how mods work or are affected in this game. It's kind of odd. And then I have one that increases my damage by 7, but it actually increases my damage by 35.4. And then finally, this last one here increases my critical hit damage by 10%. And this obviously changes to... 125% as per my normal one that I already have equipped. So if you do the math here, it basically means I'm doing a critical shot like really, really frequently and a lot of crit damage and means headshots are nuts. Now, if you look at my actual perks that I've involved in here, I'm using reflexes as like my, my main kind of build for my character. You can see for my assault thing, I've basically expect into every single thing here obviously the one of the best ones here is on the left increasing your damage with rifles and submachine guns by 35 percent just when standing still but there's also some that increase your damage like by doing other things like moving or hitting moving targets or like while aiming down so generally this just increases your assault rifles damage the secondary part of my build involves using cool. So if you go into my cool here and you look at stealth, I'm not really going for much of a stealth vibe, but there's a lot of benefits in stealth that can really, really help you. For example here, increases damage dealt by silenced weapons by 25% while sneaking, which is something I'm gonna show you in a second. And then you have this here from the shadows. Upon entering combat, crit chance increases by 50% for a seven seconds. That's another high crit chance. And then you have this one here that increases your crit chance by 15% just while sneaking. So you have a high chance of critting while being in sneak. And then of course you definitely need this one here, the assassin perk, which allows you to deal 15% more damage to human enemies, which is generally most of what you're gonna be fighting. But if you are afraid of robots, you can actually go to your technical ability and go to engineering. There is a perk, I believe, over here. This one called Blade Runner increases damage to drones, mechs, and robots by 40%. And then inside of the cool attribute, there is a section here called Cold Blood. And in Cold Blood, there is a perk that you definitely need, especially if you are playing the a headshot type of build. And this is this one over here, because it increases your headshot damage by 50%, which is very, very high. I played most of the game without a silencer, but adding a silencer at the end and starting to play around with it, using all those sneak abilities and everything, I was able to do some hectic damage because of those like, you know, headshot like multipliers and everything. And you can literally just walk into a room, like quietly sneaking in and just take a headshot. And it's nice because all the enemies are like generally slow moving because they're like, that guy died. Why did he die? And then you can shoot at the next guy's head and the next guy's head and the next guy's head. And like nobody notices you were even there. Otherwise, you can just run in there, guns blazing, and shoot everyone in the face, the, like the, the, the hectic, action-packed way, which how I've played most of the game. But towards the end, I actually played it like really casually with a with this, like muzzle over here to kind of like get that 2.5 times damage multiplier when attacking from stealth, which makes my damage do a lot more. I'm actually getting crits about 100k damage crits to the head, which is instant kill for most of the enemies I'm fighting. Pretty much every single enemy I'm fighting dies when I shoot them in the face. 
the only drawback is because it's a silencer it reduces your like base damage by 15 percent but because you're doing like massive crits it really you're you're getting a lot more benefits than you are getting like losses so as long as you're playing a stealth build or you're playing in stealth and you kind of like start your combat with this you're gonna kill everything like one shot and it is just the most broken deadly assault rifle i can possibly imagine and for some reason you can see the dps has changed again from 800 to 700 that makes no sense to me I really don't understand this thing sometimes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in a future one. Thank you so much for watching.